Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Friends, in this video, we will learn how to make corridor from assembly. So here in this section, you can see I have an existing assembly uh, what we created before. This for this assembly credit goes to Mr. Ahmad Nasser. He created for me. So from this assembly, I create this surface, and uh, this is my NGL, and this is my invert level. And uh, this 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 area is a variable. Is uh, this will hit to the NGL if uh, it's uh, here or down, it's anywhere. So it will change automatically and follow the existing ground level. Here I already make it. So uh, I will start it for you from zero. I'll open the new drawing here. First of all, we need the invert level. Or any level whatever you have so I have here some levels uh, this is my invert level of this box colored okay now I will also insert the existing ground level for this box colored okay and the third thing I need the alignment this is my alignment okay so this is my alignment, this is my invert level and this is my existing ground level. Now I need to create one assembly here. Uh, sorry, uh, assembly I uh, already is created. I need to insert in this drawing. First of all, click here on the corridor, create assembly. Okay, now uh, it's asking me the assembly name. This is assembly name is Two x one two by one. Okay, it's asking me assembly type, assembly style basic. Okay, code set types all codes. Okay, now it's asking me specify assembly baseline location. Okay, I click here. So this is assembly basic. The point start from here. The assembly. Uh, this level you see here my invert level I give uh, the elevation of my invert up to this point so my new level what I make us uh, in the assembly uh, up or down the zero is here I'll show you also uh, just click on this click on this icon and uh, you will find here tool palettes click on this the tool palette is here now I have already these three assemblies uh, here is the different assemblies you can uh, choose anyone you want but uh, I have a personal assembly for uh, for this job I will select we cost convert zero one okay okay Click on the place, okay, okay. okay. I will close this, okay, okay. So just click this. You find here the option uh, mirror, click on mirror and give location to another side. So now you can see here I have a uh, uh, two by one box colored here. As I'll show you before, ask, uh, tell you before, uh, this is my zero point, which one is follow my invert level. So what I create the new new surface on this line, and uh, this point is a variable when uh, whenever my existing ground level touch this uh, this line, uh, even here or here or it go up, it will go in, it will increase up to my existing ground level. Let's see. Okay, so from here I click on the corridor, create the corridor. What is the name of your corridor? Uh, for example, I write D2B excavation because I need the excavation level. Okay, here it's asking me select alignment okay this is my alignment here it's asking me what is your the profile my profile is invert level 
and the assembly is 2x1 and the target surface existing ground level okay so the new window is open so I'll, I'll just remove this and uh, now it's asking me your start station I just click here and I will start from somewhere and uh, my end station from this alignment is depend on you uh, you select which station for example I select 0 plus 520 okay it's asking me the frequency okay along tangent I need 5 meter in curve area I need every 1 centi along spiral every 1 centi and along vertical curves every 1 centi okay and the target is existing box color existing ground level so it's selected here for uh, right side and left side click ok apply rebuild the corridor ok so now here I uh, what I give in the curve area this every one centimeter for more accuracy I just uh, that's why I give one centimeter and in the straight area it's every five meter so now select this corridor link then right click corridor properties okay this is the name of uh, surface or corridor then this is the perimeter what we gave before here the frequency everything next codes next feature line next surfaces okay now from here we need to create new surface from the corridor create a corridor surface okay so uh, once i uh, click on this create a corridor surface this new icon is here now then uh, once i select this then it's uh, you see here the specify code okay click ex excavation or daylight i just click on the daylight okay then click on the add icon plus is here okay so from here the top link apply rebuild the corridor okay so now i have the one new surface first i save this drawing because sometime uh, it's give me the fatal error I will hide the other surfaces my invert level and uh, existing ground level I just hide and select this uh, the new your corridor surface enter surface style from here I need to turn on the triangles okay For example this area is outside I just I will delete it delete lines I delete extra but I, I don't need to delete it but it's deleted okay you have to care uh, careful for this do not delete inside the surface and uh, now if I select this surface object viewer you can see here now This is my excavation level now. Uh, why it's give me like this? Because my existing ground level is uh, same like this, up or down. So it's it's my because my tar target surface is existing ground level. So it's give me like this. So now I will make some cross section. One more thing uh, I forget to inform you. Sometimes it's asked you uh, you need to show the profile here. 
how you will show the profile just uh, go to the home profile create profile and this is your alignment select three things add draw a profile okay this is my invert level EGL and now this is my excavation level uh, you need to make this spec before so because I already I think before make it so it's not asked me but it will ask you sure now create the section um, before creating section we need sample lines okay select alignment FL name okay this all okay give the range, range station so I just select the start station from here and uh, now I will select the end station from drawing and uh, now I will give the left width for example this is 10 meter from this axis and uh, right width is also 10 meter and uh, increments along the tangent 5 meter along the curve 1 meter and along spiral 1 meter and click OK so now here you can see along the line it's giving me uh, every 5 meter and in the curve every 1 meter so now I will create the sections it's just simple next next and create section view and uh, it's draw here so now here you can see uh, this is my section and uh, inside I have the assembly and this is my invert level and uh, this is the design excavation this one and on the top you, you see this line this is the NGL what I take it from side before start excavation So here you can see this, uh, this is the surface what I created from assembly. So now I will export this surface outside. And I give any name 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So now I will open the new drawing. insert XML and the same surface what I export I will insert here in new drawing so just uh, click shift and uh, the scroll button you can rotate this uh, surface you see uh, how it's make very smoothly If you like this video please subscribe and like my channel thank you for watching